What's going on YouTube family? Garrett back with another video today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Garrett. I'm a full-time Amazon seller and I like teaching you guys how you can start and create your very own Amazon business on my channel. So definitely consider subscribing. But in today's video, I'm gonna be deep diving into one of my favorite tools and softwares that I use in my own Amazon business. Now this tool has really helped me streamline my processes when I'm doing product research with online arbitrage and wholesale. It really has made my life a whole lot easier. So in this video, I wanna make sure I deep dive into exactly how I use this software and how it basically benefits my business and my day-to-day -day operations when I'm out there doing product research. And the software I'm gonna be deep diving into today is called Selleramp. If you've never heard of Selleramp, it's a Chrome extension and it really just makes life a whole lot easier um, when you're doing product research, right? Because it provides us with a ton of data. It allows us to basically search from one website to another without having to do all the manual typing. We can store front stock. We can do a ton of cool things with Selleramp. So I wanna make sure I deep dive into each and every one of those in this video. Without further ado, let's hop on into my computer and I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial of exactly step-by-step -step what I use this tool for in my very own Amazon business. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we made it here inside of my computer. I quickly wanna go over what Selleramp is, go over it with you on their website so you have a better idea of how Selleramp works and how it can provide value to your business. Um, so this is their website. Um, they basically have three tools that they offer. I basically use the Chrome extension. I just figured out that they actually have a mobile app as well, um, but the Chrome extension is definitely going to be key. They have a web app so you can see all the key information on one screen, especially when you're doing storefront stocking, all that good stuff. And they also have the mobile app now. So if you're doing retail arbitrage, you can use Selleramp for retail arbitrage now as well, which is awesome. They provide you information, profit calculators, amount of offers. So it tells you how many FBA, how many FBM sellers. Um, you can set alerts. Um, you can search storefronts. It provides the keep a chart, ranks, prices, Google Sheets. So if you're doing OA, you wanna keep your OA stuff all organized in a Google Sheet. We all know manually typing in that stuff can be a headache. Um, so you can basically basically transfer that information into a Google Sheet straight through the Chrome extension while you're doing product research and purchasing products, which is absolutely awesome. That alone saves you a ton of, ton of time. And there's just a bunch of cool other stuff you can look up as well, but you guys can head over to their website, check out what they have to offer. But in this video, I wanna show you how Selleramp works and how I actually use it in my own business. So first off, Let's head over to Amazon so I can give you guys a brief look into how this software works. So let's say we're going to Amazon, we're gonna do some online arbitrage, right? Let's start off by searching a brand that we all know um, and love. Let's just go with Adidas, right? And this is just an example for this video to show you how the software works. So if we were doing just looking at different products here on Amazon and we wanna start doing some product research, seeing if we can find these products for cheaper, right? What we would do is come over here and we can see the Chrome extension is up here in the right hand corner and it begins to populate all of this information. So what it has up here is we can click right here. If you're on a website, this will take you to the Amazon page. We can hit this Google link right here. And instead of going to Google, having to type or copy and paste the actual product title, it does that for us. And then we can start scrolling, seeing if we can find this product at a better deal. So it saves a ton of time that way. Um, it also has this full screen option. So I'll, I'll get into that later in the video. Um, it gives you alerts. Does it have IP alerts quite often? It has it sensed through the Keepa dips and stuff. Is it gonna be giving you different trouble? Is it oversized? All that stuff is provided under the alert section. The BSR, the estimated sales. Um, it actually gives you based on your parameters you set, you can enter your prep centers parameters, your average ROI that you want to take into your business. You can calculate all that stuff and it'll give you the max cost that you actually can pay for that product. So when you're doing product research, research, you say, hey, this is an item I'm interested in. The max I'm willing to pay for this is 34 bucks. So when we're checking these websites, we can start um, either saying, hey, this is a website that has the product for that price or it doesn't, so on and so forth. So that is pretty awesome there as well. Let's say we're getting this product for 32 bucks, right? 
and we're selling it for 61. It tells us our profit, our ROI, all that good stuff. It also takes all of that Keepa data right here. We can check the current, the 30 day averages, 90 day, 180 and all time. This is actually awesome because it gives us the averages for the BSR, the buy box averages, FBA, FBM, all that good stuff, right? We can also see the Keepa chart pulled up right here inside of the Chrome extension, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and it just has a profit calculator, good stuff like that. We can add discounts if a store is running a sale, so on and so forth. We can also see the offers. We see there's an FBA seller. We see Amazon's on the listing. And it just gives you a brief idea of what this li listings landscape is looking like. So let's get into do some product research with this. And again, this is just for the purposes of this video. Don't copy these exact products because everyone who watches this video is gonna find the same ones. But if I was doing product research, let's say we're gonna take, um, what's a Walmart brand that we could do? Let's say we're looking at Taco Bell hot sauce, right? Because I know that's a product at Walmart that is sometimes profitable and then we can start storefront stocking. So let's say we found this item on Walmart. What we wanna do is we, we know that a lot of these sellers are buying this stuff from Walmart. So what I like to do, especially with Selleramp, is not only find products this way just by doing random manual searches, but once we find a winning product, right? Let's see if this product's profitable. So we have a three pack of this hot sauce. I'm gonna head over to click that Google link extension right there. Um, we can see at Walmart, they are selling the mild version for 183, Target has it for 199, um, so on and so forth. I don't know if they're gonna have the hot sauce in the hot version because all the Taco Bell hot sauces are pretty much sold out most of the time. So let's say that was a profitable product. This was a good listing. We checked the Keepa, we checked all the stuff we need to know. This is a great product, it's a winning product. So we can assume that the other sellers on this listing are good at doing product research because they're selling this product, it's a winning product, and it's from Walmart. So what we wanna do next is start stocking their storefront. So that's when I head over here, I see some of the other sellers on this listing. This guy has a ton of stock in. This guy's probably getting it wholesale for sure. Let's see this guy right here, 11,000. People might be getting this wholesale now. This person's probably an online arbitrage seller. I'm just looking for storefronts that I can start stocking and do the same process with over and over. So let's check out some of the storefronts right here and see if we can find anything good. All right, so this seller has three feedback. They're not a big seller, but let's check their storefront, see if they're, if they're selling anything else profitable. Now, when we're looking at seller storefronts, um, the cool thing with Selleramp is we can click it up here in the corner and we can click this computer button. What's that gonna do? It's gonna bring up their entire storefront on their web app so we can actually start seeing all the data all in front of us from their entire storefront. This makes the sourcing process so much easier when using this software. So we can look right here. This looks like Amazon's on the listing for well under what they're charging. We're gonna skip past that. Amazon's on it. Pretty much anything Amazon's on, we're gonna skip through for the purposes of this video. Price tanked pretty well on here. Um, let's see, let's see. Price looks pretty stable on this. They're charging $11.90. We'll go ahead and open up that product. $16.90 pack of two on the hot sauce. That might be profitable from what we were looking at. Let's open up a few more products here. Maxwell House, I know Walmart carries that product as well, um, but I'm looking for something a little bit more on the pricier side. I like selling stuff over 20 bucks if I can. Let's look up this Maybelline um, product as well. And we'll do this T-Gel. I'm pretty sure this T-Gel like three years ago was a crazy bolo. It might be a different gel, but there's a crazy bolo going around where this tea gel or tear gel or something was selling for like $80 a bottle and it was like $6.99 at Walmart. So we're gonna head over to these listings that we just pulled up. We see this guy is selling the low price on this listing, FBA is 1936. Let's see if we can profitably find it by hitting that Google tab and look what we have here. Is this it? 0.25 ounces. Damn, we might've just found a really good product. 0.25 ounces, oh, it's a two pack. Gotta make sure we get those details. So 648, we know that's not gonna be profitable as a two pack, so we're gonna go ahead and skip that listing. Let's check this Neutrogena. Uh, go ahead and click the Google icon there. 
You see they have it at Target for $9.39. What was it selling for? Low price is $22.99. So can we get that for $9.39 from Target? Six full ounces. Let's go ahead and make sure it is six fluid ounces. I'll pack it two once again. So we know that is not gonna be profitable. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and skip that as well. And like I said, this is the tedious part of doing product research. And as you can see, this software just literally makes it that much faster to get through products fast because that's the name of the game. You have to get through a lot of products to find the good ones. Let's see right here, two pack of Taco Bell hot sauce selling for $13.98. We can see, is it at Walmart? So it looks like it's sold out online, but we might be able to find it in store. That's a great tip for you guys that do retail and online arbitrage. A lot of times you can find these products that are super profitable in store, but let's assume we could source this for $1.83. We could set a reminder to let, um, to remind us when Walmart comes back in stock. Um, so $1.83 times two, that is what two, $3.66. So we're gonna type that into our cost here. And the profit's gonna be a little bit higher than $1.43 because I have my prep center fees calculated in here. Um, but still, even at $3.66, $1.43, it's showing a 39% profit. So what I do again is we found a profitable listing. I'm gonna go and check out all of these sellers and do the same exact process. So that's basically how I use SellerRamp to storefront stock. I do this every day, a couple hours a day, go through, find competitive sellers that are selling great products, and I just use this method to find potential leads that I can bring on into my business. Now, another great way we can go about using it that I like the most, I personally like just searching sales on websites because a lot of the the software is like tactical arbitrage. It misses a ton of great opportunities because it misses certain discounts on websites, all that good stuff. So what I like to do is go to the website itself um, and just start sourcing myself, doing the manual research up front. So let's go ahead and click sale. Let's go to men's shoes. I like sourcing shoes. You can usually find a ton of profitable ones. Um, and let's see if we can find anything that looks super cheap or interesting here, 4478. 2238, 3248. I wonder if this model, I know I've sold Adidas Multics before, but we can click on a listing off of Amazon on a different website. And then we can go ahead and click SellerAmp and it's gonna search that title for us on the Tilly's website, on whatever website we're on. This guy saves so much time. When I used to do OA manual research, I'd have to copy, paste, go back and forth from website to website. This allows you to just literally click the Chrome extension and it's gonna search up the product. So we can see here is the listing. Let's see if this color's on here. It is not, um, but that's essentially how it works. Let's see if we can find a profitable product on here though. Um, like I said, save so much time, because if not, you'd have to go to Amazon, you'd have to copy the title, manually search for it, when you can just stay on the website, click the Chrome extension, see if it pops up and search for it that way. Um, is there anything? That seems like it might be good here. I know all these because I was doing product research on this website yesterday. They've definitely raised their prices since yesterday. Let's see if this one's profitable. Doesn't look to be profitable. Let's go ahead and go over to eastbay.com because I want to provide you guys with some value and actually show you what a winning product looks like. So it seems that they're giving 40% off with code all out. Let's go to sale, um, discount eligible items. Let's go ahead and search up Nike as the brand because we all know Nike is one of the best brands to sell. All right, so let's get into it. So what I would do is I'd start manually going through these listings. So what that looks like is just like this. We got a three pack quarter socks. Let's go ahead, click the seller amp Chrome extension. It's going to search it for us and pull back the Amazon listings. We see there's a white one. Let's see if that is a actual, if it has the black ones on this listing. It does not. Um, let's see about this. That's uh, gonna be a one variation listing. Let's see if we can find it here. See the six packs coming up. So I don't wanna waste too much time on this one. We're gonna keep scrolling. Let's see if we can find something profitable for you guys here. 
like I said, this just basically speeds up the process of getting through products, right? And I've, I source East Bay a lot, so I kind of can just spot stuff that looks like it's a good deal or not. $24.99 for those sandals, not gonna cut it. Let's see, these might be profitable at 12 bucks because $19.99, 40% off. I've sold these in the past 100%. And they're, they only go down to $14.99 at the Nike clearance outlets. So here's a higher ranked listing. Let's go to the lower one. Let's see if we can find this white sandal. All right, what sizes do they have in stock? They have four, five, six, seven, boys grade school. They have, all right, yeah, so we're going grade school. Just wanna make sure I'm looking at the right product here. All right. Then I just start going through four, big kid. So size four, we know we can get, it's 3140 here on Amazon. Let's pull up seller ramp and see what the lowest FBA offer is. Lowest FBA offer is 3140. And we know this product's on East Bay right now for 1999 size four. We can get 40% off. So our buy cost is going to be $12 plus tax or we're shipping it to a tax-free state. So let's say all in like 1325 and let's see what our profit is going to be. So I think I just already found a profitable item. So we're gonna make 5.99, 45% ROI on this product. Let's see if the other sizes are selling and maybe some other colors too. Decently ranked 33K, 794 items. Seems like all the sizes are selling for around 30 bucks. Next thing I would check, just make sure this variation has some reviews and it's actually moving. We can do that by going to Keepa, looking at the reviews right here. And then we can see, look at the first one, it's the white one, it's got nine reviews, um, 29 ratings, and it's size five. Let's go ahead and check out size five. So even at that price of 1350 even, we're still profitable making almost five bucks a unit after all of our expenses. So that is how I use Celeramp for doing online arbitrage, guys. You can even use it to do wholesale. So if you're looking through wholesale catalogs or stocking storefronts of other wholesale sellers, Celeramp's gonna be a great option for you. So if you don't already have Celeramp and you're interested in using it, I definitely would recommend each and every one of you that takes your Amazon business seriously, definitely consider using Celeramp. They have reached out to me and provided me with a coupon code for you guys to use to get a discount. So if you wanna save some extra money, use code GARRETT, all capital letters, G-A-R-R-E-T, all capital letters for 50% off your first month. And you can also use code GARRETT, all capital letters, G-A-R-R-E-T, underscore annual, A-N-N-U-A-L, all capital letters, like I said, for 5% off a full year's membership, guys. So definitely take advantage of that discount. The people over at Selleramp are absolutely awesome. And the, the thing I like about Selleramp is it's a software that's created by actual Amazon sellers, so they know what type of stuff we need in a software and they're constantly improving the software. Just, I've only been using it for five, six months and they've already made significant improvements. Like I said, they added the mobile app as well for us retail arbitrage sellers as well. So definitely use those codes if you want a discount. I'll leave a link down in the description. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. If you have any questions about Celeramp, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next video.